Hello, my name is Rajesh Dhyani. I am the Executive Director for the Geosystems and Mining Divisions here at Hexagon R&D Center in Hyderabad. Hexagon offers a host of products and technology solutions that employ a mix of sensors, devices, software, and autonomous systems that help our customers to be economically and environmentally sustainable. Today, we are here at this site, the Qutub Shahi tombs in the southern Indian city of Hyderabad. This is a historical site where a lot of prominent kings from the Qutub Shahi dynasty are buried. These kings had a significant role to play in giving Hyderabad its prominence. This site has a lot of archaeological significance to the local culture and it is on the UNESCO's tentative list of World Heritage Sites. So our products come together in such cases as archaeological conservation and restoration. And so we thought this was a good exercise in, in creating a digital reality for this site, which can then be used in several other places, such as not only conservation, but also in tourism, promoting tourism, uh, promoting education, and so on. So today we have an interesting collection of devices that we have brought to this site to get a comprehensive data collection for the uh, digital reality uh, exercise that we are going to do. So we have BLK360, we have BLK2 Go, uh, we have BLK2 Fly, we have RTC360 and a host of other uh, devices which will, will help us capture you know, all of this 3D data with a high level of fidelity and accuracy. Today we are collecting this data to create a very good digital twin out of that. And to create a digital twin, we need point cloud data. To collect that point cloud data, right now, like our RTC 360 we have. First and most important feature is the speed. The speed of this scanner is awesome, which is 2 million points per second. And 2 million points per second means a very dense point cloud data. Right now, I am holding a very powerful device, uh, which is called BLK2GO, which will help me to collect the 3D information indoor and outdoor. One of the interesting pieces of technology that we are using today is the BLK360 image sensing scanner. It is the smallest and the lightest scanner available today. BLK2 Fly is the world's first fully integrated LiDAR UAV. It's an autonomous flying laser scanner with advanced obstacle avoidance for easy reality capture from the air. It captures panoramic data of building exteriors, rooftops, facades, external structures and environments to create 3D digital twins. So this comes along with the laser scanner and as well as the cameras for 360 degree imaging purpose. And once we collect the data using this device, so this can be stored for the archaeological preservation and as well as this can be also created, the data which we collected from this can be created as a 3D model. Uh, we choose to use this device uh, for this project because of its uh, unique design and as well as a unique uh, features and one of the best feature is a grand slam technology so which will help me to collect the data while on the go the rtc 360 is the this technology this technology means the auto calibration and auto combination of the projects so it will help you to reduce your time in the back office and most is the dense point cloud. 
dense point cloud means you are getting a very dense point cloud out of this which will help you to create a very good digital twin which will create help you to create a walk, very good digital walk through fly through and as well as very good 3d model PLK 360 it just weighs just about one kilogram it's very easy to operate you know one single button operation it captures 360,000 points per second and can do a very you know full scan uh, in under three minutes Users can fly the BLK to fly through BLK to fly live app on tablet and define the scanning area so that the BLK to fly would create its own mission flight path for scanning uh, quickly and safely. It has received the Times Best Innovation Award in 2022. It's a perfect drone for documenting the construction progress, rapid laser scanning for building information modeling process and create digital twin of the retrofits and redesigns. It captures 420,000 points per second. It has a hot swap battery feature. And since it has already integrated with the LiDAR, LiDAR has a Grand Slam functionality and blk to fly it has uh, five cameras and one radar. And it has come up with a 2.6 kilobytes so that users can easily carry anywhere. So last three days on the Qutub Shahi tomb site had been challenging, but very satisfying. We are happy with the quality of data that we were able to capture. Our scanners did awesome job and so did our engineers. And now it's time for us to bring it all together by registering all the 3D point cloud data by stitching the 3D data together. And for this, we will be using a couple of hexagon solutions. We'll be using the Cyclone Register 360 Plus which is a 3D laser scanning point cloud registration software. In addition, we will be using Hexagon Reality Cloud Studio powered by HXDR. With its automated features such as single click auto registration and auto meshing and other rich features such as visualization and collaboration, we hope that we should be able to get the right kind of 3D output in no time. I think what better use to put Hexagon's technology to use than this place. So we are really excited to be part of this project. I see two primary significance of such a project. One is we take the talent from the same society, from the same city, from the same state, and we build great technologies using those talents. The idea is can we give it back? whatever technologies we have developed from taking the talent from this place, if we can develop something great and help the society in turn. So this is one critical step for me. And the second other piece is inspiring the engineers of tomorrow. We feel that with this precision, with this speed, the kind of solutions that we are working with hardware and software is really going to make revolutions. With the speed now, we are at least 10 times faster than before and with accuracy more than 100 times better than before. Scanning has completely been changed by the latest technology. And I want engineers of today to feel it, see it, and get inspired and be the solution provider of tomorrow. <laughs>